हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू एम एस वी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन एंड इन दिस क्लास आई वांट टू टेल सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन ओके लेट मी सी मा वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन दैट इज आई एम गोइंग टू टेलिंग यू सो take all of you side heading uh, parameters of projectile motion what are the important parameter let me see now okay uh, first thing is maximum height okay uh, listen maximum height first of all what is maximum height whenever a projectile thrown into air by making an angle theta with the horizontal uh, definitely that will go somewhat maximum vertical displacement that maximum vertical displacement we call maximum height covered by the projectile motion let me see here definition uh, for a projectile for a projectile the maximum the maximum vertical displacement for a projectile the maximum vertical displacement maximum vertical displacement covered time of ascent during during time of ascent is called maximum height is called maximum height once again for a projectile what is the maximum vertical displacement the maximum vertical displacement covered during the time of ascent is called maximum height suppose if a body is projected into air with initial velocity u this velocity vector makes an angle theta definitely the trajectory of the projectile is a parabola already you know okay this is the path traced by the projectile here what is the highest point here this is the highest point this is the maximum vertical displacement traveled by the projectile so i call this maximum vertical displacement is maximum height okay yes you know already what is the component of velocity along horizontal direction u cos theta u cos theta is initial velocity along horizontal direction and one more component of velocity that is u sin theta u sin theta is initial velocity along vertical direction okay what about tell me at maximum height uh, horizontal velocity still it does not change that is u cos theta what about its vertical velocity already i am telling you it becomes zero you know okay yes if you want to derive the expression for maximum height uh, just to you forgot this horizontal direction motion only we are seeing along vertical direction you see ma'am only you consider uh, vertical direction motion what is the initial velocity along vertical direction that is u sin theta i mean body is now moving with uh, u sin theta velocity in upward direction so uh, for vertically projected bodies what is acceleration due to gravity value it is minus g and what about final velocity final velocity means after reaching maximum height what is the velocity of the body in vertical direction it is zero so what is the displacement traveled along y axis i said it is h maximum okay yes by using this information i know initial velocity i know final velocity okay i know acceleration due to gravity so what is the distance covered okay we have a formula uh, we know that v square minus u square is equal to 2as uh, we are discussing the motion only along vertical direction you know so only we are using the parameters uh, along y axis so 
what is final velocity after reaching maximum height it is zero and zero square and initial velocity along y axis is yes u sin theta whole square that is u square sin square theta is equal to 2 acceleration along y axis for a vertically projected body g always we are taking as negative value so it is minus g minus means retardation body is in retardation okay what is displacement covered along y axis we call that is maximum height okay and now let me see now. Uh, 0 square it becomes 0 so minus it is u square sin square theta is equal to minus 2 into g that is minus 2g h maximum okay both sides negative is there you know so both sides negative cancel so what i want i want the expression for maximum height so maximum height is equal to u square sin square theta divided by this 2g take to uh, take to this side ma uh, it is come to denominator so what is the final expression we are getting for maximum height u square sin square theta by 2 g what is the final expression for maximum height u square sin square theta by 2g that's it okay this is one of the important parameter ma and one more important thing is second one that is time of ascent time of ascent it is denoted with t suffix a what is time of ascent so for a projectile it is the time taken to reach maximum height okay so the time taken the time taken to reach maximum height the time taken to reach maximum height is called time of ascent is called time of ascent so again in this case also here you see uh, this is the time taken to reach maximum height for reach maximum height which uh, direction of motion we are studying to cover the vertical displacement uh, which direction of motion is uh, prominent here vertical direction of velocity only we are consider so again what is the initial velocity along y axis vertical direction that is u sin theta and acceleration due to gravity along uh, vertical direction is minus g ma and time taken is it is i said t suffix here time of ascent after reaching maximum height what is the uh, velocity of the projectile at highest point in vertical direction it is zero yes with the help of this physical quantities we have a kinematical equation that is v is equal to u plus at we know that we know that uh, first kinematical equation here we are studying the motion along vertical direction so only we are using the parameters along vertical direction so what is v my ma uh, so what is v y ma after reaching maximum height final velocity becomes zero you know is equal to initial velocity along vertical direction is u sin theta plus acceleration due to gravity a y value is it is minus g into time taken we call time of ascent so here you see zero is equal to u sin theta plus into minus minus g into t suffix here time of ascent here we want time of ascent expression so this minus term take to this side so it becomes g into t suffix a it is u sin theta ma. so time of ascent is equal to u sin theta by g. what is u sin theta it is the initial velocity along vertical direction so u sin theta also i can write u y by g this is the expression for time of ascent next one more parameter is third one that is time of descent time of descent here uh, if we are neglecting the air resistance what is the time taken to reach maximum height same time is required for a body to reach the ground from maximum height so in case of 
neglecting the air resistance time of ascent is equal to time of descent what is time of, what is time of descent ma it is the time taken to reach the ground from maximum height okay for a projectile it is the time taken it is the time taken to reach a uh, same point of projection same point of projection from maximum height from maximum height that's all so when we are neglecting the air resistance same time is taken by the projectile uh, for maximum height to uh, ground okay so uh, time of ascent is equal to time of descent uh, what is the time of ascent same time will be taken to reach the projectile uh, same point of projection from maximum height so what is the time of ascent expression it is u sin theta by g this is time of descent expression next one one more important parameter is that is time of flight okay what is time of flight it is denoted with capital t ma so time of flight is nothing but it is the total time taken by the projectile which remains in air what is the total time elapsed by the projectile which is in air that total time spent by the projectile for remains in air is called time of flight okay it is also defined as it is the sum of the time taken during time of ascent and time taken during time of descent also called time of flight so time of flight is it is the total time taken by the projectile total time taken by the projectile time taken by the projectile remains in air which remains in air is called time of flight okay also called time of flight simply it is the sum of time of ascent and time of descent what is time of ascent uh, u sin theta by g plus what is time of descent it is also u sin theta by g so here take lcm g is our lcm so here after taking lcm we will get u sin theta plus u sin theta sir and u sin theta plus u sin theta is it is 2u sin theta by g this is the expression for time of flight this is one more parameter so time of flight is nothing but it is the total time taken by the projectile which remains in air is called time of flight okay last one more ma uh, in case of projectile motion one more additional parameter that is range of the projectile what is range here you see uh, this is number five range of the projectile what is nothing but range okay range is nothing but if you see here suppose if a body is projected with initial velocity u as it traces a parabolic path finally it reaches this point this is point of projection mark this is point of striking so the maximum horizontal distance covered by the projectile is called range okay yes what is the initial velocity along horizontal direction u cos theta and what is the vertical velocity initial vertical velocity along y axis u sin theta now if you want to derive this range expression uh, just you neglect this vertical motion just you forgot this vertical motion only you see this horizontal motion why what is nothing but range range is nothing but it is maximum horizontal displacement you know maximum horizontal horizontal displacement maximum horizontal displacement is called range 
so this is maximum horizontal displacement so only we are studying the horizontal motion for deriving the relation for horizontal range okay so uh, you see only horizontal direction motion can you tell me what is the initial velocity along horizontal direction u cos theta and and what is the acceleration due to gravity along x direction already we are discussing acceleration due to gravity does not affect in horizontal direction its value is zero okay what is the distance to travel along x direction that maximum distance what we call range so what is the time taken once you project the object from this point uh, after what time it was reaches the point of striking after time of flight it will reach the point of striking okay so these are the parameters we are known so we are using we know that s is equal to ut plus half a t square here we are studying horizontal direction motion so we are using only the parameters along horizontal direction so see ma what is the distance covered along horizontal direction that is we call range you know what is the initial velocity along horizontal direction that is u cos theta you know and what is the time taken to reach once again same point of projection same point of uh, projecting plane the total time spent by the projectile which is remains in air that a time what we call time of flight so here i am writing time of flight plus half ax acceleration due to gravity along horizontal direction is zero plus half ax acceleration due to gravity along horizontal direction is zero ma and it is t square okay. range r is equal what is u cos theta into yes just we are deriving the relation for time of flight what is the time of flight expression it is 2u sin theta by g so it is 2u sin theta by g uh, remaining zero into something zero you know so total becomes zero ma so range expression is here you see u into u it is u square 2 sin theta s2 sin theta into cos theta divided by g you know the one of the basic formula in trigonometry that is uh, 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta since okay by using this formula uh, we will modify this uh, range expression that is u square instead of 2 sin theta cos theta i am writing sin 2 theta this is sin 2 theta by t. this is the expression for range okay and here one more important thing is when range becomes maximum it becomes becomes maximum then what is the condition more here here in this expression sin 2 theta value becomes maximum then only range becomes maximum here sin what is the maximum value of the sign sign values are varying from 0 to 1 you know so maximum value of sign is 1 so that means here sin 2 theta value becomes 1 more then only range becomes maximum so this is 1 here sin 2 theta sin 1 I also write this sin 90 sin 90 also 1 you know both sides sin sin gets cancelled ma 2 theta is equal to 90 degrees so theta is equal to yes 45 degrees very very important condition if suppose your angle of projection is 45 degrees suppose definitely the horizontal distance covered by the projectile becomes maximum the projectile covers maximum horizontal distance okay yes so what is the expression for maximum range if range becomes maximum definitely u square sine 2 into theta is 45 degrees 2 into 45 so g so what is the expression for maximum range sine 2 into 45 2 into 45 sine 90 sine 90 becomes 1 so 1 into u square u square so this is the expression for maximum range thank you all of you thank you one and all okay